Uh, that's a good question. Is it possible to transfer merit? Well, first of all, I think before we try to answer that question, we have to ask ourselves, what is merit? Now, when people ask me, is it possible to transfer merit, or they say, look, I want to transfer some merit, how can I do that? I always ask them, okay, what is this thing called merit that you want to transfer? And nobody <laughs> has ever been able to give me an answer. For some reason or other, they want to put their merit in somebody else's account, transfer it to somebody else's account, but <laughs> they don't know what it is. So what is merit? Is it a substance? Is it a type of material? What is it? I've asked people that and nobody can tell me. So what is merit? In actual fact, merit is ease, happiness, a sense of satisfaction, or if you like, more generally, positive feeling. That's what it is. Okay? So then if we, if we decide that that's correct, that merit, punya, is just a sense of satisfaction and happiness and ease, then how could it be possible to give that to somebody else? Now, once again, I've come across this situation often. I have heard monks say, now we're going to do anumodana and transfer merit. Now, there's a serious problem here. Anumodana does not mean transfer merit. What does it mean? Well, the word anumodana comes from modati. This word often appears in the Dhammapada. Idu modati pecha modati katapunyo ubayanta modati so modati so modati and so on. He rejoices here, he rejoices there, he rejoices both here and there. He rejoices when he thinks of his good deeds. So, modity does not mean transferring merit. It means rejoicing in merit, feeling happy concerning merit. That's what it means. Okay? So, the, the current belief is that there's some sort of thing called merit and by doing a particular ceremony and pouring water you're able to uh, transfer that to somebody else. Now that is simply not possible and uh, the Buddha never taught anything like that. But he did teach that it can be a good thing, it can be a wholesome thing to rejoice in your merit, which is to double your positive feeling, and to give others the opportunity to rejoice in your merit or their merit. So the traditional thing is, I know in, in Sri Lanka, on the, in the anniversary of somebody's death, on the anniversary of the death of a loved one, they will do some positive deed. They may invite some monks for a meal. Or I know a friend of mine uh, undertook to give a good wholesome meal to every patient in a hospital ward. Hmm? They do some sort of positive deed and then they bring some monks together and they do some chanting and they pour the water and they supposedly transfer the merit that they made to that departed person. So that's what's generally happening. But there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding here. Okay? What the Buddha meant, or what the earliest Buddhist tradition meant, was this. I'll give you an example. Let's say a group of us, a group of friends get together and we do something very, very good. We, uh, we raise some money for charity or something like that. 
And at the end of this event, when it was successful, the leader gets up and says, well, friends, we've all done something really good, but I'd like to thank Betty, because she organised the whole thing in the beginning. It was all due to her. Let's give her a, a hand. And when we do that, she feels positive. She has a positive experience that we've appreciated what she've done and we've told her so. Now, we haven't transferred anything to her. We have just, through what we have said, we have created an opportunity that has made her feel positive. Hmm? I'll give you another example. Let, let's say it's my friend's birthday. So I write him a birthday card and I say, you know, happy birthday, I hope the day goes well for you and I hope all your futures will be good. I put the card in an envelope, I send it to him and I, it gets there in four days. Hmm? Now when he opens the envelope, he looks at it and he reads what I've said and when he thinks and knows, the first of all, I remembered his birthday. And secondly, I'm sending him good wishes. He feels positive. Now, three days ago when I got that card, I didn't think positive thoughts and then catch them and then put them in the envelope and close it very quickly. Oops, it nearly got out. And put it in the envelope so that when he opened the envelope, the good wishes came out. No. I just, using that card and what I had written, I created an opportunity that will make him feel good and give him positive feeling. So I haven't transferred merit to him. I haven't transferred positive feeling to him. I have created a situation whereby he can have that experience. And that's what Anomodana means. Okay? Now, if you believe that it's possible to transfer merit, why well, there's some ethical problems here and logical problems. For example, if it is possible to transfer merit, then logically it may be possible to transfer demerit. If you can transfer uh, whatever merit is to them, perhaps you can um, transfer all the nasty things you've done to somebody else. I could, this Once again, this upsets the whole moral order. Huh? So, let's get it straight. It's fairly clear. We don't transfer merit. We create an opportunity for somebody to rejoice in merit. And that's what we're talking about. 